Hello, welcome to a new video. I am ridiculously warm today, but we 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 we, we move on. We move on. Um, also, before I start today's video, I would just like to say, if you know me, you know how much I love Jester Lavore from Critical Role, and the Critical Role store do a Jester Lavore dress, which has been out of stock for like a year. Like. It came back into stock and I instantly went and bought it. Could I afford it? No. Did I care? No. I've been waiting for this to come back into stock for the longest time and I love it so much. I'm so happy. Anyway, that is not today's video. Today's video is not Critical Role themed. Shocking, I know. Um, today I'm going to do a tag video. Um, I'm going to do the bedtime book tag, which I was tagged by the lovely Nat over at Nerdy Nat Reads. Um, this was originally done by Books with Kelly. Um, so they will be tagged all down below. Um, go check everyone out. Um, but I really, really liked this. When Nat tagged me, I was watching it and I was like, oh, this is a good tag. I like this tag. So let's, uh, let's go for this tag. Um, so the first question is, what book kept you up all night reading? So I have three I'm going to mention. Um, two you're probably going to expect and the other one is probably going to be unexpected considering one of my worst books of the year last year. So first up, Kingdom of Ash and House of Sky and Breath by Sarah J Mass are two books that I refused to go to bed before I'd finished them. So I evidently ended up staying up till like 2am to finish them no regrets um, and then the other one is ruin and rising by lee bardugo now i remember reading shadow and bone years ago loved it got the second book and then i finished the second book at 11 p.m what did i do i instantly picked up book three and did not go to sleep until i had finished said book um so evidently I ended up going to bed at like 3, 4 a.m. Um, so yeah, even though I am <laughs> no longer a Lee Bardugo fan, this is a pretty significant one to mention because I think this is the, th this is the worst one in the sense of like how late I stayed up. No regrets. Question number two, what book made you scared to go to sleep? Now I don't read much horror. Y you know this. However, Near the Bone by Christina Henry had me on edge so badly and I was buddy reading this. And I just remember, I think it was the day before the last day's pages. And I read the books and I read the pages in the evening. And then I was just like, I was laying in bed and I was like, oh, why did I do that? I should have read this during the day. Why did I do this? And then I did the same thing the following night when I finished it. Why am I like this? I don't know. But this book honestly it's not going to be for everyone but it was so scary for me it's probably like the top amount of scare factor i will take in a book which is why i like christine henry um but if you're like a massive massive horror fan you're probably not going to find this that scary but for someone who doesn't read horror it was scary question number three is what book almost put you to sleep now i feel really bad for this but it's cage of souls by adrian tchaikovsky and it's not that it's a bad book. It's that I've said this in my vlog where I read it. I said it in the wrap up. It, it, it's too smart for me. And where I couldn't make sense of bits of it, I was just feeling so drained and so tired. Um, and yeah, it, it could have probably put me to sleep if I was laying in bed reading. Question number four is, what book had you tossing and turning in anticipation for its new release? It's no shock, it's House of Flame and Shadow by Sarah Joe Mass. I was fully, because I reread House of Sky and Breath, and then I was fully in conspiracy theory mode of like, what's going to happen in this book? And I genuinely, one there was one night, I think it was the day before release or the day before that, where I couldn't sleep properly because all my brain just kept doing was like i'm gonna find out soon i'm gonna find out what's gonna happen um and i think this is one book that's done that to me not many books have but this is one that i very distinctly remember 
Um, question number five is what book has your dream boyfriend? I really wish when people create tags, they change this to your dream partner. Um, because I don't want a boyfriend. Um, I'm a lesbian. Um, but I have gone with Love Like Farms by BK Burrison. Not because of the love interest himself. I don't want him as my book boyfriend. But more the fact that this is a friends to lovers and <laughs> the dream partner is having someone that is your best friend and gets you and is funny and loving and yes I'm describing my girlfriend sue me for being sappy <laughs> um question number six is what book would be a nightmare to live in um attack on titan I love this series I'm having the best time with this series would I ever want to live in this world absolutely not no thanks i don't want to be eaten by a titan thanks i don't want to have to fight titans i don't want to have to live in fear of titans absolutely not question number seven is what book reminds you of nighttime um for this i'm going for the luminaries by susan denard um nightmares come out at night time nightmares are the different types of monsters um they come out at night time and we have the luminaries that patrol and kill the nightmares and keep the town safe and yeah it just night vibes for this series question number eight is what book has a nightmarish cliffhanger now i will say i wanted so badly to not repeat books but i have to i have to use this for this uh, attack on titan I got myself into a routine of I would read three volumes at a time because the first two volumes of an omnibus would be major cliffhangers and then the third one would be less of a cliffhanger so I got myself into that routine and then it got later in the series and that third volume was just as bad as the other two for the cliffhanger um so these cliffhangers man need to stop <laughs> Question number nine is, what book have you actually dreamed about? Oh, this is gonna come to no surprise, but it's the Shadowhunter world. I have had many a dream where I have been a Shadowhunter. Not one of the characters, I myself, Becca, has been a Shadowhunter with these characters. It's not even in the sense of like, I've been dating one of them. It's like, I've just been one of their friendship group. It would be the coolest thing not the fighting demons part but the um being friends with them all would be great i'm sad i know but hey you can't control your dreams um and then the final question is what fictional monster would you not like hiding under your bed now originally i was gonna say near the bone because but then i was like actually the monsters of verity series has monsters that i definitely would not want like under my bed um they are not great and i think i would cry before it killed me if there was one hiding under my bed because they definitely would kill me because they are deadly creatures so yeah this savage song and our dark duet by ve schwab um that was all 10 questions that was a really quick tag i have not even been filmed for 10 minutes yet um i'm gonna tag I don't know anyone that's actually done this, I don't think. And if I do, other than Nat who tagged me, I apologise. I'm going to tag Ash over Ash's Bookish Life, of course I am, um, Gem of the Creepy Geek, Chloe at Chloe Reads Books, and Emily at Emily Kathleen Reads. I'm going to tag those four. But if you want to do it, feel free, just let me know so I can be nosy at your, at your uh, answers. Um, but I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you next time. Bye.